What's going on and welcome back to The Road to Scratch. It has been a minute since I've done any videos and between running a business, actually running two businesses, the holidays and just the winter weather in Colorado in general, I have not been able to make any videos until this one and this one is so, so exciting to me because as you see behind me, this is what I got for Christmas from my lovely wife. Um, it might be, it might be the best Christmas present I have ever received from her. And that's saying a lot because she is a great gift giver and I've gotten some miraculous things from her over the years. But as you can see behind me, I have a giant golf hitting net and I'm standing on the actual golf mat that I wanted, that I was looking to get for myself and I didn't have to do that because my lovely wife bought me all this stuff. So two things, I got this set up in my garage so I can actually practice during the winter months if I can't get out on the driving range because it's closed. Um, it's really hit or miss with the weather, again, in Colorado. So, uh, or if I don't want to drive or if I want to work in the, at night on my golf swing because we are grinding, grinding, grinding. Uh, that is what this channel is dedicated to is the road to becoming a scratch golfer. So. I'm gonna leave these little links in the description below, but this is what I got. I got a 10 by seven hitting net. Um, it's got some targets and some little stuff. I haven't really tinkered with any of that stuff. Right now I'm just working on mechanics in the golf swing and I needed a hitting mat that wasn't one of those little dinky ones that you set up next to you where every time you hit a golf shot, the mat moves. This is one like you'd find at a driving range. It is a four by five, actually it's a five by four mat that you can stand on. Um, and it's great because it's got a nice tight lie area for hitting golf shots as you were hitting in the fairway. And I've also got a little area over here where I can practice in chipping and hitting out of the rough area. Also have, although not the greatest, but I have these little plastic golf tees that slide up from the bottom like most conventional mats do, but it's got holes on each side of the mat. So if you wanna hit left-handed or right-handed, or if you just wanna flip this thing over and get the rough out of the way, you can do that and stick your stick your tees in one of these three holes on each side. All right, so enough about all that exciting, exciting stuff. This is a game changer for me. Again, I can work on my golf swing at any time by setting up in the garage. All I have to do is pull the two vehicles out, set this thing up, which is actually really, really simple. It's like setting up a very simple two-man tent and slap this puppy down on the ground and I'm ready to go. All right, so here's what we're gonna be working on throughout the winter months, not just in here, but out on the golf course and on the range as weather allows. Other videos have been talking about, really the, the thing that's been getting to me the most is my delivery through the ball, my downswing into the ball, whatever you wanna call it. So my position from the top of the swing down through the ball is very, very steep. And I've been working diligently on getting my backswing position so I can actually deliver a more shallow path through the ball so it's not directly down, steep through the ball, especially with my short irons and wedges. That's where it's really, really detrimental to my swing. Um, I tend to get steep, really steep with the wedges, shut down the face, lose control, spin the ball too much, and have no distance control with the wedges, no feel at all, especially with anything less than a full swing. So that's what I'm gonna be working on in this garage all winter long. Um, and I'm gonna work in this session, I'm gonna work all the way up from a pitching wedge all the way up to my driver, working on my move, which is going to be a thought process of getting my hand in a position where I'm almost, almost like I'm holding a tray through the swing. So that shaft of the club, and I'll show you in a minute, is gonna be pointing out this way and not down this way. So I can deliver that club head in a more shallow position my allows my wrist to actually bow out more and become much more square to the ball, much more consistent through impact and a more driving ball flight, which I've been working on a lot, especially when I'm trying to work on my stingers. And the reason I couldn't keep the ball down is because of the steep path through the ball. So getting all that delivered has definitely improved all of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some clubs out and get to work in this garage. Um, man, I am so excited to have this, this is so cool. All right, we're gonna work on some angles here for the camera. I'll see if any of this works. Hopefully it gets full frame from behind. 
I'm gonna do some shots from the side as well so I can actually get us uh, kind of a, a direct look at the side of my swing so I can see positions from that angle as well, not just from behind my swing, which I always, really that's all I've been filming so far is everything behind so I can see ball flight. I'm actually gonna try and just hit some chip shots here too. Just work on kind of that impact position with my hand and uh, we'll just go from there and like I said, work all the way up to uh, driver. Other thing I'm gonna really work on is I'm gonna do uh, some swings in this session where I'm actually pausing at the top where I can even pause here and hit it. I moved up to an eight iron. Uh, I've adjusted the mat slightly to get a little bit better angle for uh, behind the swing. All right, moved into a six iron. Let's see if our timing can get better. I actually haven't swung a golf club in probably four weeks. That was not good. The old four iron. To be just as shallow as you can be. back <laughs> finish the swing all right we're going straight to the driver the old stealth 2 old it's new the stealth 2's out um, I'm gonna do a few from behind and then I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can adjust things so I can get the camera face on for some swings as well for the, especially with this driver i need to see a few things especially i can you know obviously i can see swing path from behind but i want to see the mechanics of what's happening if i do get steep i want to understand you know that movement down for me is here and, and i want it here um almost like finishing thumbs up through impact with the driver That was terrible. Okay, get a few from this angle. Take a look at body position and then swing path from this angle as well. I wanna see my address position too. I feel like sometimes I get pretty level with the driver and I really wanna be back in here. So I have a more tilted shoulder angle, my right shoulder's below. It creates more of a hit up on the ball as opposed to delivery of sweeping motion. I guess you can give a little more punch to that ball with the driver since it's played off your front foot off the tee. Um, if you get too flat, then I can start, what I do is I start kind of, I kind of like almost punch the driver and hit that lower kind of low cut, which very spinny and not very, not very much distance, that's for sure. So. Knock the target down. The impact position here. All right, we're really working on pause. Knock the target down again. Well, overall review, 
this mat is great. You, you, you need a practice mat that you're able to stand on. I mean, you wanna simulate as close to real golf as you can when you're doing this type of practice. Again, like I said, I don't like those little strip ones because you can see if you're hitting, especially with a driver, it's gonna scoot all over the place. You wanna be able to stand on the surface you're hitting off of. Um, this net is, is great size-wise, especially for the kind of area that I'm working in, which is my two-car garage. Um, the target's held up pretty well. When I get the driver, I knock it down fairly frequently, and that's not just because I'm hitting it all over the place. Um, it's just got two little clips that go in there, so anyway. Not a big deal, so far I'm happy. Uh, I think this is gonna be great practice. Lots to work on. I really need to get back to the course, and like I said in some other videos, I am going to do some on-course filming really, really soon. Yes, it is winter, but we're gonna have days where it's at least dry enough out there, and um, whether it's warm or not, doesn't matter. If they'll let us on the course, because there's no snow on the course, then I'm gonna be out there if I have time, if and when I have time. So. I'm gonna keep pumping out content because this is the goal, the road to scratch. Again, links for this stuff in the description below. Let me know what you think of any of this, including my work in progress swing. And until next time, swing hard and chase it.